You may recall that on the first day of the course, I gave you a concept for the day. Does anyone remember the concept for the day from day one? Anyone remember the concept for the day from day one? Half fun was in there. That was in there, but it had to do Michael Miller's dog. Okay, right. Today we're going to have a concept for the day which is the perhaps crucial central concept of the course. If you want to remember any one concept only for this class that you take with you forever, this might be it. My father told me this concept in about 1966 or so when I was a high school debater. It's been around even longer than that actually, so it's an ancient and revered concept. You probably have heard of it or might have heard of it, but maybe not in abbreviated form. Every speech that you give, anywhere, anytime, to anybody about anything, should embody this concept. These are the three things that you should do in any speech. They are, tell them what you're gonna tell them. <laughs> tell them, and tell them what you told them. Okay. These are three things you really ought to do in any speech, no matter what else you do. There are lots of other things that I will talk about in the next 45 minutes that you'll also be doing, but if you do the, all those other things but don't do this, you will not succeed as well as you might. Tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them and tell them what you told them. Now you might say to yourselves, oh, that's just like writing. That's like an essay. That's like an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. Well, in a sense it is, because anything that takes place in time has to have a beginning, a middle, and an end, doesn't it? But it's not the same as in writing only, because in writing, as you well know, you can scan through something and go back to the top to remind yourself of what was there. You can go to the bottom and go back to the middle and remind yourself of what was there. You can leap from the beginning to the end and see how something is going to finish up. But you can't do that in speaking. <coughs> the only way that people know what you're going to be talking about is if you tell them what you're going to be talking about. If you lurch into your speech without any indication of what's going to happen, it's sort of like being lifted off your feet and thrown somewhere. Likewise, if you don't remind people at the end of what's happened, it's sort of like you're being taken along on a trip and then dumped off a cliff without being told that you have that happen to you. So the tell them part is certainly the biggest part of any speech, even though all three of these things have to be there. The tell them part's going to be 80 to 85, 90 percent of the time that you spend in the speech. But without this part and this part, this part is not as complete and valuable as it could be. All right, so I'm going to go over now. Let me turn that off now.